You know what? No, I'm going to go no now. Aaron Judge is not a Hall of Famer. Quick correction alert. Uh, in this video that you're about to watch, we describe Francisco Alvarez as being ineligible for the Mets in the playoffs as he was not on the 40-man roster on October 31st. However, uh, as we get here in the comments, uh, Michael Chap points out he can, in fact, play on the playoff roster. Uh, so thanks for the correction there, Michael. Uh, looks like a New York fan, so thank you for chiming in with that. Uh, looked into it. Uh, here's what we found. We found, could Alvarez play in the postseason? So this is an article via CBS Sports. Uh, absolutely, Alvarez is still postseason eligible, despite not previously being on either the active or the 40-man roster. Uh, so Major League Baseball's postseason eligibility rules dictate, quote, a player who does not meet said criteria for postseason eligibility can still be added to the team's roster in the postseason via petition to the commissioner's office, provided that the player was already in the organization on August 31st. So this can't be someone they signed off free agency. This can't be someone, I guess you couldn't trade for him after October or August 31st either, but they have to be on the roster in the organization as of August 31st and replacing someone who is on the injured list and has served the minimum amount of time required for activation. So Alvarez was in the organization for the New York Mets on August 31st and the Mets do have several players on the injured list, including young infielder Brett Beatty, who has been out with a torn thumb ligament since late August. So there you go. Uh, in this video, we do talk about Alvarez and uh, his role with the Mets, but we do misspeak the fact that uh, he's ineligible for the playoff roster. And uh, as our friend here, Michael Chap, thank you for the comment, has pointed out, he is actually eligible for the playoff roster uh, through a little bit of a loophole here. So very interesting stuff. Anyways, enjoy the rest of the video. I just wanted to ch chime in here. And acknowledge the fact that uh, a couple dumb comedians, we are not baseball experts. We learn as much from you as you learn from us, if not more. So cheers. Thank you for the comment. And we'll see you guys Sunday. I, I wanted to talk uh, the Mets for a okay. second here because the New York Mets are doing something pretty interesting. Francisco Alvarez, if you haven't heard the name, you're probably an American League fan. I mean, we're Blue Jays focused. You, you probably haven't heard of him. If you have, good on you. You're you're in the baseball weeds and you're a nerd like me. Francisco Alvarez, though, 20-year-old power hitting prodigy. He draws comparisons to Mike Piazza is what, now of course, that's what Mets are always a, going yeah. to compare their top prospects to is Mike Piazza. Um, he's currently the number one prospect in baseball. And he's going to make his debut, most likely, it's not official, but most likely tonight. The Mets plan to call up Alvarez um, tonight against, uh, against Atlanta. And the reason they're doing this is the kid has hit 27 home runs over 112 games between double A AA and triple A. So it definitely adds a power bat to this lineup. He's hitting 260 between double A and triple A. So his batting average is what a power hitters batting average is. I'm excited to see this kid play. Okay. He's been the talk. He's been the talk of baseball for about two months now. He's putting up big time power numbers in the minor leagues. I think it's cool that they're bringing him up at the end of the season. He won't be able to play on their playoff roster, but still to give him a little bit of a sniff in the final few series of the final two series of the of the year, all the best to him. And it's the Mets and the National League. So freaking do what you do. I don't care. It doesn't affect us at all. <laughs> Very cool. Uh, with that in mind, as far as top prospects go, Blue Jays fans are familiar with top prospects. And I just want to remind everybody in Blue Jays Nation how fortunate we are that even when Boba Shett airmails one into the dugout, uh, for the most part, he has panned out. 
Vladdy having a down season has panned out. Uh, not every top prospect pans out. Uh, looking back at Seattle, uh, Jared Kalenic was one of the top prospects yes. in baseball. Um, he is back with the Mariners right now after making his MLB debut last year. It was mm-hmm. a very tumultuous first season. Uh, all the love and all the hype for Jared Kalenic is seems to be out the window now as Julio Rodriguez is the man. Yes, in Seattle. In Seattle. But uh, Jared Kalenic was the number four prospect in all of baseball last year. Uh, he has a career batting average now of 174. So... Wow. I mean, it's way too early to call him a bust. Oh. I'm saying don't don't go anywhere near that word. But it is, is definitely yeah. it has definitely been a struggle. And I just I wanted to frame it in a way that like we remind ourselves that like Boba Shett also is a child. Yeah. You know, like this is a guy with a hundred doubles this year. I know that's not quite a hundred, but Boba Shed is elite by yes, he is all accounts. Super young, so any frustration you have for Boba Shed is understandable. But remind yourself that like we're still he's pretty, younger than Adley Rushman. Yes, we're pretty freaking <laughs> fortunate in Toronto that the hype of these kids has pretty much for the most out. part panned out. So yeah. All right, my man, let's end on Shohei Otani. We don't need to go too into the weeds on this one, but I did wish your opinion. He pitched into the eighth and no hitter last night against the athletics. He has been, I mean, honestly, he is hands down the MVP. If Aaron judge isn't doing what he's doing. Do you think there's any way that Shohei still has a chance at the MVP this season? Or do you think it is a foregone conclusion that Aaron Judge is the MVP? I don't know what Shohei Otani could do over this last week. I know he just had the no-hit bid. He would have to throw, like, two perfect games and hit 10 home runs. And even then, I don't think it's enough. Yeah. No, I have to agree. I personally think that he should be right there with Aaron Judge. I think that this vote is probably going to be closer than Yankees fans would like it to be. But how often do you see a record-breaking season when it comes to home runs? The long ball, man, it reigns supreme, right? Like, I, I, whenever I think about this, I always think about that commercial from the mid nineties with Smoltz and Maddox and the, the studs stud pitchers from, from the Braves era. And this was right in the midst of the steroid era. Right. And they're showing the commercial is, is just Mark McGuire hitting bombs and all the girls being like, Oh my, and chicks dig the long balls. And then all of a sudden Maddox is like, Hey, we got, Cy Young winners over here, right? And then they decide that they're going to be hitters and like they'll they'll get all the attention. But no, it's I, I think I think it's a foregone conclusion with how many bombs Aaron Judge is hitting in this this record breaking season. I think it's all but over. Yeah, phenomenal season uh, from both players. Probably going to be Aaron Judge. I would put money on it if I had any, but I don't. So. <laughs> All right. Anything else you want to add here? A uh, heck of a season to show. Hey, congratulations on playing for the LA angels. I hope you're out of there soon. Yes, we all do with the Dodgers or the Yankees. Um, anything else to add? We do have a few comments in chat. Should I get to those? Uh, well now if you say no, now you're an asshole. So I better, I know I've got to go. And I know minutes. you've got to go. Let's do one. Let's we'll do skim one. through let's these. All right. Let's read yeah, through this yeah. quick. Uh, sorry to put you on the spot, Scott. I knew you were going to, and I'm a monster. So, uh, <laughs> here's one from Alex Bailey says, uh, love you too. Thanks for filling my daily slash weekly dose of blue Jays analysis and breakdowns. You guys are going places and this team oh, will be man. together for a while. And I'm very happy you too will as well. So what a lovely nice. comment to end on. Yeah. So, there you go. All right. Uh, thanks everybody for tuning in uh, on the live stream here and 
We'll, uh, big long toss on Sunday. Big ben long Nicholson toss. Smith on Monday. We'll see you all very shortly. Enjoy your weekend. Go Blue Jays. Go.